In tonight's reality check, they are labeled as biodegradable and have become a very popular item for personal hygiene. But are these sanitary wipes causing a bigger mess than they are cleaning up? Local 15's Christina Verjeco found out just how much flushing the wipes could cost both you and the city. Kim Greg, unlike toilet paper, bathroom wipes stay in one piece as they make their way through the pipes, and flushing them, just a couple of them, could cost you and the city thousands of dollars. You wipe and flush. It then might be out of sight, out of mind, but look what's popping up on the other side of town. Yes, that's the same so called flushable wipe that has now gone through miles of pipes. The wipes and other flushable products have become a problem in systems. Jim Cottle is the manager of Daphne Utility Systems, where nearly three tons of wastewater gets pumped through daily. And with that water comes the still intact wipes. The more resilient wipes they are producing today actually have a, like a net mesh built between the, the folds of the paper which makes it very difficult to break down. You have plastic and other material residuals. And this isn't only causing a headache for the bigger city service stations. In more rural communities of Baldwin County, homes rely on personal grinder systems, and those two are not immune to the clogging. They do say they're flushable, but what happens, they don't dissolve fast enough, and it can clog up our main, the system, check valves, and clog them, and we have to come dig it up, and it's very costly for us to do that. Now, we've heard over and over that these wipes are a problem, but we decided to see how it all works for ourselves. We took two blenders. They will act as the pump that our waste goes through. In the first one, water and toilet paper, and in the other one, water and the so-called flushable wipes. Both were blended for 20 seconds. The results, toilet paper broken down, wipes on the other hand caught on the propellers, not even looking phased by the blades. And that is exactly what waste service professionals say could cost you thousands of dollars. Ultimately, you are responsible for what goes through the system. You'll end up having to call us, most likely, or Roto Rooter or someone like that. They'll come out and they'll charge you an arm and a leg for it, unfortunately. So, the best advice on how to keep your money in your pocket and your community clear of waste simply stop flushing these wipes. About the only thing you really need to put down in it is pretty much toilet paper and what comes out of your body. Saving yourself the money and keeping city streets free of sewage backflow is really easy as that. Just throw the wipes into a trash can instead of flushing them. Kim Greg, back to you. Yeah, it's a tough topic. All right, Christina, thanks.